Hey buddies, so nuts guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we are going to teach you all about the dragon gem and also the other race. Well, not all gems, the other race items that will allow you to transform into these races without wearing the required ring, which enables you to use other baubles, other rings in those slots but still keep the race abilities, which is really, really cool to maximize your potential and your power. We're talking about the dragon ring and the dragon gem today because those are most likely the ones that you're going to be wanting to use. And you can only use one race at a time, so uh, so it's most likely going to be the dragon ring in most cases. So for any of you that don't know, putting on a race ring will transform you into that race. Different races have different abilities or effects. You can check those on all the different rings. Uh, they give you a fair fair decent breakdown of what the individual rings do as an example the dragon ring turns you into dragon kin and uh, i can fly with this i'm in creative so you can fly anyway let's pop into survival so i can fly with this the wings start to beat as well so the animation's actually quite cool with that pretty pretty cool you're 120 cent bigger 120 percent bigger and you can also shoot fire with x by default uh which is which is kind of cool uh, however, it does take a ring slot, so what you might want to do is convert this into a dragon gem. Alright, so a dragon gem is a consumable that will permanently give you the abilities of a dragon. It essentially will turn you into one of the dragon race. Um, so if we take this ring off, let's have a quick look at the recipe. We've got Mana Crystals, Scarlight, Sapphire, Dragon's Breath, and of course the ring itself. It does consume the ring. Bear in mind, guys, it does consume the ring. So if you are wanting, maybe if you have a second ring or whatever the case may be, just be aware it consumes the ring. So if we pop this recipe in here, you'll see the ring does get consumed. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to consume this. So we're going to... Nom, 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 nom. And it's going to turn us back into a dragon, but you'll see we're not wearing the dragon ring. In fact, we're not wearing any rings at all. And we can now have all the effects of a dragon, but without having to use the ring. Now, if you put on a different race ring, it will um, remove the dragon. So if I, I'm now a titan, you can't be a dragon titan, unfortunately. It would be very, very cool, but it doesn't work that way. If you have, one, uh, if you have a, a ring on, it will overlap. But as long as you take that ring off, it'll revert back. It hasn't been removed. You can, if you ever want to remove this effect, you no longer want to be a dragon, you can drink a restoration serum. Restoration serums can be crafted like this. Kind of expensive. It does take another star, but at this stage of the game, you probably have plenty of those anyway. Drink the restoration serum, and it will turn you back to a regular person. So as an example, you have the Titan, uh, the Titan spirit here. Um, I think the Phalus is Phalus Nip, funnily enough. If we go Fae, you can see, yep, yeah, Phalus Nip there. Um, and these recipes are, you yeah, know, fairly similar with the Mana Crystals, and then it's just going to have something associated with the race uh, on the other elements to it. And they work in exactly the same way. One thing that I do want to check really quickly is uh, if we take a Dragon Gem, right, turns us into a dragon, then we drink a Titan Spirit, it will remove the dragon gem and turn us into a titan. Again, there's no overlapping of races. You can't combo. Um, use one race uh, consumable and it will remove the other. And again, all can be removed with the restoration serum. Pretty simple, but also very cool and will really allow you to maximize maximize your end game potential by acquiring the abilities of, a, of one of the races and in addition, having both ring slots available to you. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to give the uh, if you'd like to see more content like this, consider subscribing. I go love my Twitch go live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy pretty much every day. And we run an RLCraft 2.9 public server from that channel as well. All you have to do to join the server is jump on the Twitch channel, earn 3000 channel points, unlock the whitelist through the channel point redemptions, and then you are able to join us. Alrighty guys, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.